welcome everybody to Golden Gulch 14 and a half. We're doing a half episode because nothing really gets done in the park. As you can probably tell, we are not in Golden Gulch right now. Uh, we will be going to Golden Gulch after the statue I create, uh, after this little time lapse, which is what we're doing. We're making a, t a statue. So we're going to be completing this, and then after that, we'll go into a real time portion in Golden Gulch, which would be the actual, the, the first time we go live into Golden Gulch, and we'll see what is going on in there. And uh, just be aware, some things in this video might not be pleasing to the eye, so um, that's what we'll talk about in the, the real time portion after this. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the little time lapse we have.
All right, so we are live in Golden Gulch, and this is what actually made it into the park compared to that atrocious disaster, what we did in the little time lapse. I guess that was just um, an effort to make a custom statue, but we decided, or at least I did, to whip up this little actual in-game statue that I used using in-game pieces, and I like this way better. Now, it might not really fit what I was going for when I said the statue would be a bull turning into a fish kind of monster, which is really what the ride is all about. But I decided to go after this just because um, if you can see, the hands are facing upwards and it kind of looks like there's an option here. Um, so that's kind of what inspired me to do this. Um, I'm way happier with this than I was the actual statue I made. And then a little bit of inspiration hit since this is pretty much right after Halloween and the day this video is actually coming out is Dia de los Muertos in Mexico so this really fits with like the skeleton vibe and all that like tombstone in the back so this really does fit into this um, time and pretty much into this area um, along with this is has a little bit of Aztec um, culture well not culture but like influenced architecture here so I put it right here in between our gift shop over here and our the sign over here. And actually, let me hop out of Tejucam and we can see this area as a whole right now. We can kind of look at everything, which um, this entrance area over here is looking really nice. Um, this ride right here, which I don't have a name for. I meant to tell you guys uh, or ask you guys at least to give me a name for it. But. Uh, that's what you guys can let me know in the comments now is a name for this right now. It's called the Golden Eagle, but uh, I don't know. I It makes sense since it's in like the Aztec inspired area with a lot of gold and stuff, but I don't know if you guys come up with a better name. Let me know. Uh, and then I also did a bunch of little minor details, as you might know. Uh, this area got a little bit of foliage and some green instead of this kind of brown orange. And then uh, we did a little bit of detailing as well. The first thing you'll notice is I forgot to put in a priority queue here, so I put this in and I kind of did a little bit of foliage. Surprisingly, it fit. I really wasn't thinking it was going to fit. And then another thing that I did, I put a couple of fences here, and then um, that pretty much sums up what I did. Um, other than that, we are pretty much done with this episode, uh, this half episode, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it really was a waste of a week to get Golden Gulch episodes done. Um, but I really like this statue, how it ended up in the end. Um, I think it really fits this area, and I think it fits the ride as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure to have an amazing day, and thanks for watching.